Hello, I'm Matthew with JN Air Conditioning, and today we're talking about load calculations or the way we size air conditioning equipment. This video is intended for homeowners thinking about replacing their home comfort system. So I'll try to keep it short and non technical. Once your air conditioning system has been installed, it can be very difficult to get the contractor to fix any issues that arise from improper equipment size. Often you are stuck with whatever equipment they sell you. Most air conditioning contractors skip the load calculation and replace it with rules of thumb, like 400 square feet per ton. At the end of the video, we'll talk more about the reasons they skip this important step. To prevent this from happening to you, alongside with the problems associated with improper sizing, you should know what a load calculation is and why it is important. This ice chest in one way is like your home. It's an insulated box. If we want this box to stay cold, we need to keep the heat out. That is what insulation does. The ice inside will melt eventually because heat comes through the walls and ceiling. The insulation slows it down, but it can't keep it out forever. When the ice melts, we need to add ice to keep it cool inside. Did you know the size of an air conditioning system is measured in tons? You may have heard this, but tons of what? Well, the answer is ice. Two tons of air conditioning is a roughly equivalent to two tons of ice. When Willis Carrier invented air conditioning, he was replacing ice as the main source of cooling. So it makes sense. A good way to think about the size of your air conditioning system is how much ice you would need to put in your home to keep it cool. And the faster the ice melts, the more ice you need. If we put windows and doors on this ice chest, we would expect the ice to melt faster, and it does. Older inefficient windows would make the ice melt faster than new efficient windows. Another factor is sunlight, how intense and for how long. Local climate has a major effect. How many people live in the home? Attic insulation, building orientation, indoor lighting, even the ductwork are parts of the home that need to be accounted for. A load calculation is simply taking all these features and measuring the amount of heat expected to transfer into the home. From that we can do some additional calculation to determine the proper size air conditioning system. So the question is, can you just install one larger than you need just to be on the safe side? Well the goal is to balance the size of the air conditioning system to the heat gain on the home as much as is possible. It happens to work out that most systems are still larger than they need to be, but we do want to avoid grossly oversizing the equipment. The reason is oversized equipment will cause comfort problems related to reliability, humidity control, temperature control, uh, imbalances, and operating costs. It will probably need to do a whole video just on equipment oversizing to go more into detail, but suffice to say if it costs more to install, more to run, makes you less comfortable, you probably shouldn't spend your hard-earned money on it. Well, what do you as a homeowner need to do? Um, well, you need to insist on a load calculation before the installation has started. Ask for an example calculation completed by the contractor to make sure they're not they're trying to pull one over on you. Avoid online load calculations that are oversimplified. Avoid rules of thumb like 400 square feet per ton. Ask for a 100% satisfaction guarantee. And if you're in the Riverside County area in California, hire J&M Air Conditioning. That's the easiest way to do it. I know what you're thinking. You're saying to yourself, Matt, why doesn't every contractor do them if they're so wonderful? Well, load calculations require more time, more training and expertise, expensive software, all things that most contractors just aren't willing to invest in. Or in many cases, they don't even know they're supposed to. Perhaps the number one reason for contractors not to perform a load calculation is that it doesn't help them sell air conditioning systems. Homeowners tend to prefer the rule of thumb approach. There's something comforting in the simplicity. Here are some common objections we get from homeowners. Didn't the home builder size the system correctly? The existing system has been here for years and works fine. Why change it? Won't a smaller system work harder? I thought it was based off of square footage. All the other contractors said I need a bigger air conditioner. I address these concerns at our website at jmairandheat.com. There'll be a link in the description. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. There's a link in the description to our website if you'd like to contact us directly.
Thanks again.